Good morning and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Well, today is Monday, you guys, and we are back at the start of another work week. I hope that today finds you well, that you awoke this morning in your right mind with a song in your heart and a praise on your lips, giving God the glory and the honor and the praise because he's great and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. Well, you know what? I am still just so very excited excited just coming off of this resurrection weekend and we have just been celebrating and praising the the uh, life the death and the burial and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ amen I hope that you took time this weekend to just reflect on what it is that our Lord and Savior did for us how he gave his life so that we might have life amen you know and I know a lot of people that watch this blog are not Christian and you, you're wondering, well, why are you guys celebrating the fact um, that your Savior died? But I'm here to tell you, if he had not died, then we could not live. No, it, I'm not saying that we wouldn't be walking around breathing right now, but we would not have eternal life. God said that the wages, the payment for sin is death. So when sin entered the world, death did also. And the only way that that debt could be paid, because God required a blood sacrifice for the sin that was in the world. That's what he said. He said the wages of sin is death so uh, blood had to be shed and it couldn't be the blood of animals. It had to be the blood of someone pure and holy who had walked the face of this earth without sin. So he sent his son Jesus. He wrapped his word in flesh. He sent him to the earth. Jesus lived a holy and perfect life and then he died on a cross for you and me because because he loved us so much. He paid the sin debt that we owed so that we could have life and we could have it more abundantly. So now we live a life of freedom. We don't live a life bound by sin and we're grateful to him for doing that. We're grateful to him for how much he loved us. So we celebrate that every day. But Resurrection Weekend is when we set aside the time to just acknowledge that to the world and to everyone and we just celebrate his life and we celebrate most importantly his resurrection because he got up we got up and we have eternal life amen and listen god doesn't wish that anybody should perish the bible tells us in the book of i believe it's second peter 3 and 9 he says that it says that god is not slack in his promises towards us so it's not that he's you know he doesn't remember what he said that the wages of sin is death he remembers that but what he's saying is he's long suffering he's patient and he's given everybody time to get it together amen because he doesn't want anybody to perish so if you don't have a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ if you're one of those people who just don't know him or you know that he's the Savior but you just have not been willing to give your life to him then I encourage you to get to know him today the Bible tells us in the book of Romans that if you would confess with your mouth and believe believe in your heart that Christ was raised from the dead, then you are saved. Amen. It's just that simple. And then from there, you get into a good church and you get into the word and you really get uh, start to learn how to live a Christian life. But the first step is to accept him as your Lord and Savior, accept him into your life and uh, begin to have a relationship with him. You know, um, years ago, there was a bank here still. I don't even think the bank is still around. It's Wachovia. It's now Wells Fargo. But there... Um, slogan used to be you have a personal banker with Wachovia and they wanted you to feel like when you came to that bank that was your bank and you had your own personal um, salesperson and what have you your own personal banker and that's how it is with with the Lord Jesus Christ he is your personal savior you have a personal relationship with him just like you have a personal relationship with your friends you have a personal relationship with Christ and my relationship with Christ my be different from your relationship requires depending upon how much time you spend with him and what you talk to him about you know because he's just there for you so your relationship might be different than the one that I have with him but guess what the thing that's the same is that he died on the cross for me and he died on the cross for you he died on the cross for you whether you believe it or not whether you saved or not whether you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior or not he still died for you he died for the 
whole world. Amen. But it's up to you to accept him. So listen, the Bible goes on to say in the book of uh, Peter, it says that, but the Christ is coming back like a thief in the night. We don't know the day or the hour when Jesus Christ will come back for those that are his, for his, for his brothers and sisters, amen, that's going to live with him in eternity. We don't know when that day is going to be. That day could be today. This could be it, you guys. We don't know that. I know we go along about our lives like everything's fine, like, it, you know, that tomorrow is going to come, but there's going to come a time when tomorrow is not going to come and it's going to all be over. And I hope that you you are confident in where you're going to spend eternity. Amen. So if you are not, I just admonish you and encourage you this morning to get to know my Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he's already died for your sins. He already loves you so much. It doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter what you've done. Okay. He loves you and he died for you. He just wants you to accept it. Amen. Listen, I hope you guys have an awesome Monday. I didn't do um, any live videos, I don't think, last week, but we, we will have live videos this week. I'm looking forward to just sharing with you. I appreciate you so much. I love you so much. Have an awesome, blessed, Holy Ghost-filled day. Encourage somebody today, okay, and get to know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day.